Okay. Is it just me so far? What? Is it just me so far? Just you so far. All right. All right. Well, we'll just get started with the warm up, and then if people join in, they join in, and we'll just take it from there. Okay. First thing we have is the prone press up for five reps. Oh, you need to get a good push-up position. Relax the hips as we press up. Press our belly into the floor. There we go. Then we're going to go into the single leg hip bridge. Five reps on each side. Oh, there we go. Then we're going to six point hydrants, five on each side. So we're at six point hydrants, five on each side. And now we're gonna go into the Spider Man thoracic extension with rotation, five on each side. So we're gonna go into a good push up position. We're gonna bring whichever foot you want forward. I brought my right, so I'm going to take my right arm underneath my left, and I'm going to go up and through. And this is five. Okay, then we're going into the stationary inchworm. Just make sure when we do this, then we can go down into the push position, our hips do not sink to the floor. And we're doing five. After the stationary inchworm, we have body weight squats. We are doing 10 of them. Make sure we are rooting our feet into the floor while we do these. After those 10, we have 20 jumping jacks. <sighs> After those 20 jumping jacks, we have alternating lateral squats. I'm going to hold up my stance pretty wide. I am then going to push my butt back into my right side. 
driving off my right foot, and we're going to alternate them. After that, we have T jacks, and we're going to do 20. Hands out in front of us. Boom. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go into the core, which will be 10 minutes. I'm going to demonstrate the exercises. I will go over the reps. And then we'll kick the whole thing off. So, get inside, get a nice sip of water while I go over this. So, for the first exercise, there's three. We have a bridge with alternating diagonal reach. Feet are down on the floor. Palms are up. I'm gonna push my hips to the sky, squeeze my butt. Then I'm gonna reach over and back and down. That's one rep. We're doing five. On each side. Then we have a staggered side plank with thoracic extension, 10 on each side. So if I'm on my left side, my right foot is over my left. I'm gonna take my right arm, I'm gonna throw it under, I'm gonna bring it up, I'm following it with my head. This is one rep. Another way of doing this is bringing my knees together. I'm gonna keep my knees on the floor and I'm gonna raise my hips. Same purpose. Those are the two options. And those are 10 reps. Then we have lateral lunge to cross behind lunge. Feet start together. I'm gonna do a lateral lunge. I'm gonna come back, go into the cross behind. That's one option. Second option, go into the lateral lunge, feet together. Then go into the cross behind. Let's say, Kirk, my hips are sore, or I'm losing the stabilization. Okay, let's go, let's go into a lateral lunge, and we're back. And we're going to do five on each side. I will name each one of these as we go through it. Everybody ready? You get a thumbs up. Sweet. We are going to begin. Right now, with the uh, bridge with alternating reach by my knee side. There we go. Then I'm going to the staggered side plank for 10 reps on each side. When you're doing the staggered side plank, always recommend starting on your weakest side. So if you're right hand dominant, I will start on your left side. If you're left hand dominant, start on your right side. Uh. 
There we go. <sighs> Make sure we're really flexing our abs while we go through that. Then we're going to go into the lateral lunge, the cross behind lunge. So, feel together. We're going to lunge out. I'm driving off this right foot. I rush to my right. I'm driving off my right foot. I'm still rooting into the floor, into the full feet. Then I'm going behind. Again, rooting, feet. We're trying to create external rotation. That's five on each side. Also, after every round you are thirsty, please stay hydrated. It's gonna be a hot one this week. Now, back to the bridge, the alternating diagonal reach. If you're ahead of me, just keep going. And we're doing five, make sure palms are up. Push my hips to the sky. There we go. Now going to the stagger side plank with thoracic, with thoracic extension and rotation. Do it 10 reps. Make sure when we're going through this, we are still squeezing our abs. Yeah, squeeze your abs and try to pull my elbow as hard as I can down. Makes it feel so much easier. And 10. We have four minutes left. Now we're at the lateral lunge with cross behind lunge.
There we go. Just checking in on you guys. Looks good. Uh, going back into the bridge with that diagonal reach. Palm C up. Driving my hips to the ceiling and then reaching. Going into the staggered side point now with thoracic extension. 10 reps. Make sure that when we're going through this, we're still squeezing our core, okay? Still flex it. One minute, 20 seconds left. There we go. We are under a minute left. Finish up the exercise that we are on. Try to make it through it if you can make it through a second one. If not, don't worry about it. Get a drink of water, stay hydrated. Thirty seconds left. And that is time. Okay. Oh. Okay. As you get your drink of water, I'm gonna go through the next exercises. I'll go through the next exercises with the rep ranges. So let's take a minute, you guys take a break. I'm gonna go through this. So this will be 20 minutes. We have five exercises. The first one is a single leg RDL. There's two options. The first one is a normal RDL. I am then going to excuse my butt, my core, I'm going to push my left leg back. My right foot, I'm still trying to root into the floor. Now, when you go through these, if you start noticing you're going over and you start feeling a twist, that's when I would like you to go into a staggered. RDL. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left foot, put it behind my left toe, right behind my right heel. My left heel is up. I'm then going to do the same thing. I'm going to push my butt back, butt back. The knees are not changing. 
Once I feel a good stretch behind my right leg, I'm then gonna squeeze my foot to come back up. We're just going in both the single leg and the stagger. I want you to go as low to where you feel that good stretch, then come back up. This is five to 10 reps on each side. The five to 10 reps is there, so that way if technique starts breaking down around seven, we can go to the stagger. Even if you're at stagger and technique starts breaking down, let's go on to the next exercise. Safety is number one. What I mean by technique breakdown is when you shoot back and you start twisting, or if you start going down and your knee starts coming down, that's technique breakdown. We don't want that to happen. Push-ups, five to 10 reps. These are gonna root into the floor. I'm gonna create external rotation. To stabilize my shoulders, I'm gonna go down and up. If you have a uh, couch, a chair, you can do the same thing on that. And then there's the plyo. So the plyo, simply, we're gonna go down, hands up, then press up. And that is five to 10 reps. The biggest thing I do not want while you are doing these push ups is to let your hips sink into the floor. Keep your core tight, squeeze your butt, it helps stabilize your lower back. The next thing is one and a half split squats on the right and left foot. So I'm going to go into a split squat position. I'm going to go down, come up halfway, go back down, and back up. My front foot is rooting into the floor. I'm digging my right toes hard into the floor still too. Then we have a bird dog for the fourth exercise. This is five on the right and left with a three second hold. So for a bird dog, so we're here. My leg is shooting straight back, not up. I'm shooting it straight back. I'm squeezing my core, my left foot cheek, and I'm punching out with my right hand. The biggest thing when we're doing that is do not shoot your leg high into the sky. Shoot it straight back. So if you flex your butt cheek, it will keep it at a lower angle. Then we have front plank with alternating arm reach, five each. So we're gonna be in a front plank position, reach out, reach out. If that's a second option, you can go into a pusher position, reach out, reach out. And that is five each. We're gonna be doing this for 20 minutes. For the first round, I'm gonna go through it with you guys. Second round, I'm gonna start adding bands and weight to myself. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Thumbs up if everybody's good. Okay, perfect. Take this bad boy off, 20 minutes starting now. Single like RDL, five to 10 reps. I highly recommend starting on whichever leg is your weakest, five to 10 reps. Mine is my left, so I'm gonna start on my left side, which definitely makes me need to focus more. While we go through this, work the muscle, work the tension in the muscle. Do not rush through this as, as, as a countdown or get big, get lean. Focus on working the muscles, let it burn. Stay disciplined if it starts burning, it will end. Uh. 
And time. We're going into push ups, five to ten reps. Then we have one and a half split squats, 10 on each side. If you're start on the weaker foot. I'm going through this. I'm still rooting my right foot and still pressing hard with my left. Then we're going into a bird dog, five on the right and left, three second hold. <clears throat> Again, remember, we're squeezing our lower abs, flexing them really hard. And then we're going to the front plank with alternating arm reach, five on each side. Make sure you're staying hydrated. So I'm going to do a staggered RDL for these. Spicy. 
Yeah, that's good. Good scary shits. Okay. Now going into the push-ups. Ten I need. Ten reps. Biggest thing. When we're doing the push-ups, take my hands, rooting them hard into the floor. I'm still squeezing my abs. And I'm still squeezing my butt cheeks to stabilize my lower back. Now I'm at one and a half foot squats. Again, I'm going to start with my weakest leg forward, which will be my left. I am still trying to root my left foot into the ground. I'm pressing my right foot hard into the ground. There we go. Woo! Legs are feeling spicy already. Let it burn. We are at now 10 minutes left. We are halfway through. Going down into the bird dog, five on the right and left with a three second hold. Again, make sure that we are whichever leg shoot back. We are squeezing that butt cheek and then that we are squeezing our abs while we go through this motion. A light speed, so I'll be. <coughs> Flexing on it too hard. This is a good squeeze to make sure we stabilize the back. Then we have front plank with we'll alternate arm reach. Here you go. How's everybody feeling? Thumbs up. Make sure you get a good, nice sip of water.
I'm going back into a single leg RDL. I am doing the staggered variation. These are spicy. I'll say that much. That's a good one. I'm not going into the push ups. Five to ten reps. You can do this either elevated or plyo or regular or what I'm doing against bands. Now we got one and a half split squats. Oh, there we go. Those look good. Again, I'm gonna start with my weakest leg forward, which is my left. I am rooting into the floor with my left. My right foot, my toes, my heel is up, my toes are digging straight into the ground. Of course, stays tight. And we're doing 10. Ten. So some legs, ten reps. And down to bird dogs. Five on the right and left. Make sure that when we're doing the bird dogs, we're squeezing our core. Whichever leg we shoot out, we squeeze that butt cheek to help stabilize. Three minutes left.
Pro plank with alternating arm reach. All right, going back into the single leg RDL or staggered five to ten reps. I am doing modified staggered to make it harder on myself because why not? Even though I won't be able to feel my hamstring back to this. Yeah, that feels good. Yep. That feels amazing. One minute left. Let's put the gears to it. Make everything burn. Twenty seconds left. Let's keep pushing. Now it's time. Finish up whatever you got. Oh man. How's everybody feeling? All right. Now for the finisher. We have two exercises. This is the last week. We're gonna be doing this five times. Wall sits, 30 seconds. Stationary inchworms, like we did in our uh, warm up, 30 seconds. Resting for 30 seconds. Okay? <sighs> Oh, anybody have any questions over these exercises? Or is everybody thumbs up if everybody's ready to rock and roll? Sweet. We'll start with the wall sits. We're gonna begin in five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going right into the stationary inchworm.
Oh, man. And rest. 30 seconds. Get a nice cup of water. One round down. All right, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, and again. Three, two, one, rest. Going right into the stationary inchworm. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. We have 15 seconds left. So again, ready. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, again. At this point, it's just a mental game. Stay disciplined, let it burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Recover. Right to the stationary inchworms. And rest. Two more rounds. We got this. Everybody feeling good? Thumbs up. Rocking and rolling. All right, 10 seconds left. All right, let's begin in five, four, three, two, one. Let's make it burn. Press your feet into the floor hard. Push your body into the wall. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Right into the stationary inchworms. Three, two, one, rest. 
Last round. Under 10 seconds. Start getting ready. Let's begin. And five, four, three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And right to the stationary inch words. Last round. Three, two, one, rest. And that's it. Thank you. Definitely.